So, what about the practice and why we talk so much about shoulder rotation and uh, that kind of things? It's something you have to do. You have to practice those things so that they they come free and automatically. I mean that you have to sometimes use pretty much time to get this easy movement. For many people this is something that they, they really have to create. It's not easy to go here before you have done it a lot. But after you have practiced it, you don't have to do it anymore. It means that your body accepts that movement. It's accepted muscular action and now when you throw the, throw the club, throw the hands, the shoulders just will turn. You don't have to do anything with them. The mass of the club, the mass of the hands will rotate your shoulders when that movement is accepted. That will also rotate your hips. You don't have to turn your hips or do something active with that. But there is time for both of them and, and you have to be ready to create good swing with the hand and club head motion. There is also many other movements. Uh, I don't want to go too deep to details, but there is a rotation of the hands. There is a how, how the real lack is really created. It's not wrist angles, it's something else. It's dropping the club and uh, releasing it and letting it go, letting it drop. There's many, many things 